IBM Backend Development Course, or to be more specific, Professional Certificate. It might not be a best-selling course on Coursera right now, but honestly, I think it has every right to be. At the moment, there are just over 7k students and nearly 300 reviews, that give it a general rating of 4.7. But how good this course series really? And is it worth spending your time and money? Or maybe should you take some other more popular courses? My name is Daniel, and here are some things I will touch upon today. IBM Backend Development Professional Certificate Course Overview Course Content Pricing and Certification Student Reviews And as always, I will offer my own opinion on it. Also, I leave all course-related links in the description down below. So, guys, let's begin! Overview Backend development is a demanding job, however, it's also quite rewarding. According to Glassdoor, today experienced backend developers in the United States earn as much as 165k a year. But here is the thing. To get to that level, you need to do a lot of learning. And sure, you could get a college or university degree. But why would you do that, when there is a much cheaper option? And this option is a professional certificate programs like this one. This backend development professional certificate is brought to you by IBM the oldest American tech giant. Eleven IBM professionals got together to teach this comprehensive program. You know, it must be good when the course is instructed by high-level pros, hired by one of the biggest tech companies in the world. But let's see what it's about. In this program you will gain the skills and tools needed to stand out in the job market as an entry-level backend developer. You will get hands-on experience with the latest technologies used by professional developers building server-side systems and services for modern web and mobile applications. By the end of the program, you will have a portfolio of projects that will boost your confidence in interviews. And that already sounds like a lot, as backend development is a complex profession that requires a great deal of knowledge and skills. Be prepared that this course series won't be easy. The course description said that you will need no prior experience to enroll. However, after looking at the course content and some students' feedback, I would say that you will definitely need some basic knowledge of Python programming. Course content Folks, IBM's backend development certificate consists of 10 separate courses. Here they are. Introduction to Software Engineering. Here you will discover how software is created through the software development lifecycle, explore modern methods like Agile and Scrum, learn basic programming principles, architecture and deployment foundations. The next course is hands-on introduction to Linux commands and shell scripting. And in this course you will learn about Linux basics, shell commands and brush shell scripting and deeply interact with Linux Terminal. The third course called Getting Started with Git and GitHub. And here you will get to know about collaborative version control and popular Git platforms. Also, you will learn about basics of Git and GitHub, branches and repositories. The next course Python for Data Science, AI and Development. Here you will understand the basics of Python and its various data types, data structures like lists, tuples, and you will learn about logical concepts. You also explore Python libraries like Pandas, NumPy and Beautiful Soap. The following course is developing AI applications with Python and Flask. In this course you will do tasks like creating functions and application logic, sharing data using Watson AI libraries, creating tests, and preparing the applications for sharing with others. The course number 6 from this list is Django application development with SQL and databases. Here you will learn the basics of SQL, explore object relational mapping or ORM. This thing allows you to use object-oriented programming languages like Python to work with databases. The next course is Introduction to Containers, Docker, Kubernetes and OpenShift. Here you will create cloud-ready apps using tools like Docker, Container Registries, Kubernetes, Red Hat OpenShift and Istio. Next, Application Development using Microservices and Serverless. And during this course you will build REST APIs with Python and Flask, understand the fundamentals of serverless apps and how to run them on IBM Cloud Code Engine. And now, ninth course – Application Security for Developers and DevOps Professionals. In this course you will learn a lot about different methods, ideas and steps to keep a safe environment. You will use DevSecOps, Static Application Security Testing and Dynamic Analysis with Testing. And now the final course. 
Backend Application Development Capstone Project. During this course, you will act as a developer, creating and launching backend microservices and applications, just like at a real job. Folks, I am happy to tell you that this program from IBM has solid practical side. The project you will work on here include creating scripts to easy backup files, making a Python app that translates English to French, improving and hosting an app using IBM Cloud and Cloud Foundry, enhancing an online course using Django full-stack skills, developing a backend app displaying song lyrics, ban photos and selling concert tickets using Mongo database, Flask services and Django app integration, examining a software engineering job posting in detail. And guys, if you have been watching my videos for a while, you know how much I love learning by doing. That's why this makes me happy. Pricing and certification Guys, before I move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in the return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like the content I make. That's it. Alright, and now let's discuss the price. Of course, this course series isn't free. You will need a Coursera Plus subscription to enroll. Some folks might say the Coursera subscription are costly, but it looks quite reasonable, considering it gives you access to many other professional courses and certificates. And when you compare it to the cost of the college degree, the advantage of this subscription becomes much more clear. Plus, it's important to know that once you complete all six courses in the program, you will receive an IBM Professional Certificate. This certificate is like a special badge that you can proudly display on your LinkedIn profile or add to your resume. But that's not all. You will also get access to IBM's Talent Network. This means you will receive job openings right when they are posted, get suggestions based on your skills and interests, and get useful tips to make your stand out from others. Student Reviews so what do students think about this program? From what I have seen, the reviews for IBM's Backend Development Professional Certificate are mostly positive. Lots of students like the detailed lessons, clear teaching and hands-on tasks. Yet a few students worry about the time needed and the absence of life help. For example, this 5-star review says, Every course has offered something interesting, challenging and surprising. I am glad I have spent the time with this class. I could strongly recommend it to others with an interest in data science. And here is the 4-star review that offers some criticism. It would help students who have no prior knowledge of Python to be given some context before starting the labs. There are some labs that expect more than what is explained in the videos. Well, like I said, guys, having some basic understanding of Python will really help you during this course. Is IBM certificate worth it? And here is the final question. Should you take the IBM Backend Development Professional Certificate today? Especially when I reviewed some others' backend development courses. In my opinion, despite some problems that it has, I would say you can take this course if you want. Especially if you already have some backend development skills. This certification program requires a lot of time to take and doesn't offer life help. But again, I think this course is definitely worth it. Thanks to its organized lessons, great teaching and hands-on tasks, it makes this course series a good option. It's the right choice for future backend developers aiming to enhance their skills. Alright, fellow developers, that's all about IBM's Backend Development Professional Certificate on Coursera. Hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys, until next time.